I'm on. Let me make sure that I am coming through okay on my computer over here. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that. Let me see, hello, hello, yes. Okay, I can hear myself. All right, I'm gonna make that go large. Forgive me for just a few minutes while I get this up and going. Oh, I didn't mute myself. There I am. All right, am I good? I am, I think I'm good. All right, hi, Jana, yay! Good to see you. Uh, so, I late night crafting once again. I figured there'd be somebody up. Um, hi, Kim. <laughs> Good to see you. I see a few people pop popping on, so that's fantastic. Um, so, I just realized that I didn't print my sketch, but I'll have to, maybe I'll draw it real quick for you. Hey, okay. Hi, Katie. Hi, Lori. Good to see you. How's the new job treating you, Lori? Um, all right, so I am on today to show you our sketch 33 for the week for Journey Sketches. Um, I have created a little card. I was going to go all out. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you what I was going to do. I was going to go all out and show you a... Good, Lori, I see. I was going to show you a super trendy technique um the 3d have you guys seen those pop-up 3d pop-up flowers hi terry have you seen those 3d pop-up flowers um so i've i recently watched a video on how to create them and i don't know if you've seen that whole thing so anyway i was gonna do that inside my card and then i made my card and i was like i feel like i need to make like a plain card and then show you the flower technique at another time. So, so I'm just showing you the playing card today. And this fun 3D pop-up flower will be for another day. But I, I spent all this time working on it and then I changed my mind. Isn't that how it goes? Okay, so I see, Kim, you're asking me how I'm feeling. And I am feeling great. So I've been two weeks on my meds. And after week one, I started feeling like substantially better. And I'm so thankful. So week two, this week came and went and I felt fantastic. And I'm still feeling fantastic. Thank the Lord, I am, I am, I am calling myself well. The week, the, the medicine calls for me taking it for four to six weeks. And so I'm gonna carry on, even though I feel good. I'm gonna do the whole deal because I don't want anything hiding in there, you know? So, um, so thank you for asking. I am feeling well, and um, this was my last full week of school. I've got one, two and a half more days next week. Uh, kids, last day is Thursday, and then I, I have one more work day to kind of finish off the year and clean up and pack up. And then I am free for the summer. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I think I might knock my phone down. Um, anyway, so then I can focus on convention stuff and table decor and all that jazz. So if you're waiting on me for that, it's coming. Um, so, but it's Sunday um, and I have the sketch theme for this week. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you. But before I do, because there are plenty of people on our page that are not coaches. I just want to remind everybody about the amazing uh, banners and bow bundle that is going on right now. Excuse me. And the thing is, is I don't have the Amaze Machine here to show you because I took it to my classroom. So if you don't know, I'm a fifth grade uh, English language arts teacher and I love it. This year has been really fun. And um, so I took the machine to my classroom because they're decorating their caps for uh, they have fifth grade graduation at my school. Anyway, long story short, I brought it so that they can use. So and I left it in my classroom. But a maze machine is the smaller machine. That right there is the platinum, and the Amaze Machine is just a wee bit smaller um, and a little bit more portable, and it retails for $139, but if you get the Banners and Bow bundle, you get it for free or at, for the cost of shipping. So I wanted to show you real quick what it was, because if I don't show you real quick, I'm not being a good coach. Hi, Kelly. Oh my gosh, Kelly. I miss you. I hope you're doing well. 
So super quick, and thank you, Cindy, I see, thank you. I am so thankful that I'm feeling better. I was worried <laughs> for a little while. Um, okay, so this Banners and Bows bundle, you get the bread tag die, I say you get, so you purchase the bundle for $89.70, and you get the Amaze Machine for free. So the bread tag die, shows you a little bread tag right there. The cupcake liner die, you can create super cute, and I'm using this paper today in my card, I love it. Um, so you can create super cute little uh, cupcake liners. So you get so you get five, you buy five, this, this bundle is five dies. The bow, cute little bow, cards, decorating, different things. Um, the banner die, which you can create so many cute banners. And the little envelope, um, gift card sleeve, I, don't, I didn't know I call it envelope. You can put a little gift card in there super super cute and i'm using our sunday brunch papers um anyway so i had to tell you if you buy these this bundle of dies for 89.70 you get the machine for just the cost of shipping okay so if you're if you're not a coach and you didn't know about that find your coach and get them now um so it's through the end of june or while supplies last for the machine so I just had to get it out there, okay? Just had to get it out there. And if you're a coach, you know, you get 20% off on top of that price, right? I don't know if y'all coaches knew that or not. So if you're wondering for classes, it's a great idea to get a machine that way. But anyway, okay, enough about that. Let me go ahead and show you the a sketch for today. I say for today, for this week. And I'm looking around because, y'all, I'm gonna draw it real quick because I normally I print it out to show you, but I didn't have time, I was a little light. Uh, today we had a um, a little Memorial Day weekend little church event so I came home a little late and later than I thought anyway so it's a simple sketch uh, this week so sketch 33 pretty simple so there's this and you know what the it's gonna be reversed on you but whenever I turn the camera down you'll see it the right way so there'll be a little something here you'll know what I'm talking about in a minute da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. it's not a very pretty sketch you'll have the prettier sketch um oh, that's it's a terrible this is a terrible rendition of our sketch <laughs> ah! but it is what it is okay this is the sketch <laughs> I did that in three seconds okay this is the sketch and this is the card that I I made okay so what do you think you like it so you obviously so if you're new to our sketches you'll have a much much nicer sketch on um, in the album okay um, so you you so obviously use a flower and some leaves and things but you don't have to use a flower you could use um any kind of shape on there so you just kind of take it and you kind of roll with it that's meant to give you inspiration okay so yes try to go with the circle and think of something and maybe you know the movement is going towards up that way you guys like it oh thank you guys thank you yay i'm glad you like it it's kind of a little different with it being so busy and then the contrast of the white but i thought I like it, so we're gonna go for it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I put it together. Not too difficult, it's a fairly simple card, so it shouldn't take me too long. I did use some fun pan pastels. <laughs> um, looks like a bunny, yellow bunny ears. <laughs> So I used some pan pastels. I'll show you how I did that. Um, I'll tell you every product that I used, the dyes, and um, everything else. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera view over so you can see what I see. And hopefully I've got all my stuff together. I don't always. We'll see. All right. So hopefully I can do this pretty quickly without being too dramatic here. Give me a minute. Uh-oh, my phone just became unplugged, which is bad news bears, because that means my, um, we'll go that route. Zoom in just a little if it'll let me. Woo! I always say just a little, and it zooms out, like, way much. Thank you, Terry. I'm glad you like it. All right, let me go get my plug, and then we'll get started. So I use a few different products on this card a few different dies and a few different things y'all my plug 
my cord is like way over here, which I know y'all can't see, but I always seem to do this at night and then my, my battery on my phone goes out. All right. Let's see here. So sorry for all that movement. Aw, oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Does that say ow? ow? Oh, you like it. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right. Let me move that over there. I've got this very not so great setup until, uh, right now. And my, my desk is a mess. But it is what it is. Okay. So now you see the sketch the right way that you should see it. Okay. And then, of course, my card. And I'll see if I can get all of this other messy stuff out of the way. Now, this card is not like my typical card. I usually love my tent fold. This is your, just your standard A2 card, okay? So um, five and a half by four and a quarter, your regular standard card. Look at that, isn't that such fun? Like the, the 3D aspects, the nice many layers. I kind of love it. And the paper is from our um, Sunday Adventure, oh, I said Sunday Brunch, sorry. It was Sunday Adventure Prints. So here's our Sunday Adventure Prints, and I use this one. And I, you know what I loved about this one? I loved the little black kind of, and I'm, I'm sure they're probably meant to be like a dark blue, but they look black to me, because um, it's just kind of different. Just kind of a different kind of a print. So this is one of our papers, our pattern papers in our mini catalog, our current mini catalog. $16.95, super, super cute. Um, so we're using that for this part here. Now let's see, let me back this up. Let me move this out of the way and bring in a new, a new card. So again, just your regular A2 size, regular fold. Now, what I did to create this D shape is I grabbed something circular and it's actually this thing right here. I just happen to have one of these. I'm sure you have one, don't you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you grab something circular. The diameter of the circle is, I think about five inches or so. Let me do that. Uh, maybe five and a half. But what's important for this shape, and if you have a compass, use one. I was trying, or not compass, sorry, a protractor. Um, I was trying to find one, but we don't have one in the house. But the diameter here, or maybe you'd call it the radius, I don't know, whatever, is about three, three, three and a quarter or so, okay? So just know that it comes out about three and a quarter. So however you want to do that circular shape, go for it. To be quite honest, I started off with a pencil and, um, oh no, it was this one. Look what I did. I was gonna do one of those things where you hold it and you just draw it, but that didn't work out. So I just traced it with, um, I traced around the circle thing that I found. I'm sure we all have either a lid or a small plate or something that you can do to trace, okay? From here, you're just adhering that down, of course, um, with my favorite, which is our um, Journey Craft Glue. My favorite, or should I say one of my favorite of our products. And because I want this to be flat, I don't want this to pop up at all. This is basically just the background for my my flowers to kind of stand out on. All right, Patty. Hi, Patty. Good to see you. I love it when I come on late at night and there's people up. I just I love it. Um, you know, because a lot of us work during the day. Granted, this is Sunday, but you know, Sunday we're with family or whatnot. Um, so I love it when I come on at night and there's people up and about and saying hi to me. So hello, Patty. Patty, I'm doing sketch 33 and I forgot to print it out. So this is about as good as sketch 33 is going to get right here. Well, until I get it up onto the, <laughs> up into the album. So yes, isn't this such pretty paper? I love it. I love the paper. All right. So I am basically flattening this out with my um, crease tool and okay so from there basically we're just we're stamping the thank you and we're um, I was about to say slapping on the flowers maybe not adhering on the flowers and the leaves and such um so I'm gonna go ahead and do the sentiment real quick first and I used one of our retiring stamp sets, which I've been using a lot lately, which is our Sentimental Prints. 
and this one is retiring out. It is leaving us, and I like it because it has these really great sentiments. You can do some really cool designs with these little four blocks as well, but mostly I just use it for these thank you, thinking of you. There's just some really good ones here. Anyway, so I'm using the thank you. I'm always, always, if I am going to make a card, it's usually a thank you card, just because I am always in need of one of those. Um, I do not have enough. I'm so thankful for my customers, for my coaches, for my downline, for everything. So I'm always needing a thank you. Um, I'm busting out my stamping tool because I cannot be trusted to do this enough. And on my original, I did it crooked, which was really frustrating when I went to pick a picture, but it is what it is. I'm going to hope to get this one not crooked. It's hard. All right. I think ee! I had it and then I touched it. Okay, I think well, let's just we'll cross our fingers. We'll see. Maybe this one is more straight than the other. If it's not, it's just going to have to be okay. And I usually do it a couple times. I like my sentiments to be a little bold. And this particular font is very fine. Oh, look how cute. And I think, I think I got it straight. Oh my gosh. That's even better than the first time I did it. Which is wonderful. One more time for just a little extra bold effect. Yes. Okay, good. Man, I actually, did I, get, I think I did get it straight. It's better than my first one anyway. You know, after you create something and you look at it, you're like, oh man, did I do that right? And this one is slightly askew, whereas this one I think is a little, little better. It's better. Okay, so we got the sentiment on there. Pretty simple. Patty, you're always up. Hey, Janice! Kathy, up and watching. Awesome. I know. Well, I am late. You're not that you're not that late, Janice, actually. Like I just started. Um just slapped this on after I cut it. Man, I'm using that word. Sorry. I adhered it onto my card and then I just um stamped that thank you sentiment. Now, the next thing that I use that is also retiring is this flower layers set. I actually don't use the die, the stamp on this one. I just use the die on this one. And it's got some really great, um, it's got, f what, four or five? Five different size blooms and a couple of leaves. Um, and it does have the stamps to go with it if you wanted to coordinate. Um, but for my card, I just used the dies. And I used the second largest and the kind of the two mid medium ones. So... This die, this one, and this one. So I actually don't use the tiny one. It's like the second to the smallest, the second to the largest, and then the one right in the middle. Now the colors that I used to create my flower, I used um, Raspberry Berry, Cranberry Bliss, and both of those in the second to largest size. Okay. Then um, I do have the cranberry bliss again in the next layer and then the smallest or the second to smallest die that i do is in our raspberry no, excuse me and our um it's leaving me sweet berry <laughs> to our sweet berry um color and so that's going to be how, what we do or the colors we use to create our flower we also if you notice this fun little black thing right here um this little kind of little i don't know what you call them you tell me. Are you a botanist? Can you tell me what this is called? Stamens? I don't know. It's something. Whatever those little black um, spiky things. That's what I'm going to call them. Black spiky things. This is from a different die set. And I'll go ahead and bring it out. It's called Romantic Bloom die set. And I use the smallest one of those little whatever you call it. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, that one, all right? So for this one, this one is not retiring, by the way, just this one right here. Patty, can you imagine what we'll be replacing? I, I don't I, no, and I, but I'm so excited about it. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing whenever they show us what it is. I'm sure it's gonna be knockout. Um, but these are the two that I use. So these are the blooms I used, and this is the center part for the flower, all right? Okay, um, we can go ahead and assemble the flower and then I'll uh, talk about the leaves here in a second. So to assemble the flower, we are going to basically shape it a little bit, which the paper makes it really easy to shape. I basically just use my fingers and I push this up. So we're gonna make it kind of 
blossom kind of cup up a little bit. Hi, Karen. Good to see you here, lady. Um, the next things we do is basically it's the same thing. So we start with the Cranberry Bliss and we pop this, I say pop it up, bend the leaves forward. I don't use any specific tools, just our finger tools on this one. Then we do a little bit of our craft glue. Then the same size in our raspberry berry, bending our petals this way. And we are gonna put our petals so that they are in between, not right on top, but in between, okay? So there should be a petal showing through on each one. Now these aren't particular, they're not um, symmetrical. These petals aren't symmetrical. Some of them have a slight lean towards one side or another. So just kind of um, put them where you think it looks best. Okay, same thing for the next Cranberry Bliss layer. Fold those petals up. And I feel like, I'm not sure if that's very visible on the black. Let's move it over here. A little bit better maybe. A little bit of our craft glue again in the center. And place that one again with the petals just right in between the ones before it. Bending them up. All right. And then my last little one is this pink, our sweet berry. And again, you're doing the same, same technique bending those, cupping them forward. A little bit of our craft glue. Our craft glue is really great. It's got a really super great paper to paper bond. And same same place here where it's bet in between the petals. And our last bit is our fun little, it just gives it some fun texture and some drama. This paper with the combination of the black, it makes it a little a little dramatic, which is kind of fun. I like it, I like it a lot actually. Okay, I'm gonna use this pencil to smoosh this down and make it right in the center. All right, and then you've got your pretty flower. It's not beautiful. I think it's so pretty and it matches. So I picked these colors to match the colors here. So with our Cranberry Bliss, Bliss our Sweet Berry, and our Raspberry Berry kind of uh, blends in with this color here a little bit. Um, so. This is the flower. I'm gonna set it just to the side for a minute. And actually, I'm going to, what am I gonna do? I am going to move this off up here for a minute. And I'm gonna bring in these leaves. Now, these leaves came from our, uh, excuse me, summer bouquet die, our steel rule die. So I'm bringing this over, it's quite large. Okay, let's see if you can see it this way. This is probably better. So it's one of our steel rule dies. And as you can see, it's a summer bouquet, and it's got all of these um, different blooms and leaves that you can cut with it. And then they make pretty good sized blooms, so that's pretty substantial. Um, the awesome thing about this die is that it is a steel rule die, and so it can cut many of these blooms all at the same time. You can do a few layers of cardstock, many different types of steel rule dies are just really strong, so they cut a lot of different types of materials in one pass, and it just basically helps with time. Um, in this particular case, all I used was these two solid leaves. I don't know if you can even see them. Can you see them? Probably not, but here, I'll put this here. So this one is, came from this place, and this one came from right here. So those are the two, the two leaves that we're using. Okay? All right, so I had to show that. Now, in order to use the steel rule die, you do have to have that particular steel rule die because it's quite large. You have to have our um, platinum machine. So um, if you don't have that, then that won't be avail available to you, but you could get one. All right, no, so what I did, if you can see up here, is I gave it a little bit of uh, color. Now, I wanted to do that because the paper has color. And let me see if I can show you here. So the paper, this pattern, if you can look up here on the leaves, you see how it's got a little dark to light in the center? I was like, I wanted to replicate that. And I thought, ooh, our pan pastels would be perfect for that. Perfect. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that. I used uh, two, two colors. Yes, two colors of our pan pastel. The first one 
is, or not the first one, just one of them, is this yellow from our Confectionery Days Pan Pastel set. Okay, so our Pan Pastels come in a set of seven, and um, they're really, really amazingly awesome of value. If you've not played with them or have them, I can't recommend them enough. They're so fun. And I use the little, one of the little tools and the little footies or socks or whatever they're called, these little guys, to adhere, or not adhere, to apply the Pan Pastel too. And then the second one that I use is our Mother Nature set. And I use this green right here, which is kind of like our green olive or olive green. I think it's called the green olive color. It kind of uh, matches that paper. So I used both of these uh, little tools. I'll go ahead and bring them out here. And um, basically apply them in the same direction that the leaf is, that the shape of the leaf has. I'm gonna start off with our lighter color and I'll do that just in the center. So I'm just tapping it a little bit and I'm going for the middle here. And I'm trying to just keep with the same shape. And I'm just going to kind of blend it in as much as I can. The awesome thing about these pan pastels is that um, they're so fabulous to blend. And they're so fabulous for if you make a mistake because it's erasable. Like you can take your pencil and just erase it. So same thing here in the center, I'm just lightening it up. And again, this yellow is from our Confectionery Days Pan Pastel set. All right. And let me show you about the erasing I was talking about. So I went up real high there. Take a regular pencil eraser and it just erases right off. It's pretty, pretty fantastic. All right, so then I've got my yellow. I'm gonna leave it there for now, and then I'm gonna come around the outside and come in with this, um, of course, I'm calling it green olive. It's, it's called Hansa Yellow Extra Dark, if you're looking for the specific pan pastel name, but it matches our Hansa Yellow. Yes, Kim, I love our pan pastels too. Okay, and this one's just gonna come around and basically frame it. So I was trying to mimic what was happening in the pattern paper because so I thought it would be so fun to have it be you know like coordinating and this one is very similar to the cardstock it's on so it almost you know blends in which is kind of what I wanted and just go around it and I'm trying to blend in the sides a little bit using my little footy what do you call these things guys the little sponge I don't know it's like a sponge all right now I think I might want to add a little bit more of the yellow to just make it a little bit more contrasting but I mean other than oops I think I grabbed some blue or some green wrong one there we go all right and that is pretty much all I did for the leaves, other than going and um, shaping them. So when you shape them, all I did was bend them in half. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Ooh, I see some people. Hi, Judy. You just pop it in. It's good to see ya. So I'm folding it, and I'm trying to fold it, you know, in the shape that it that it's in. So with that curve, and then same for here. And not too, too much. It's not gonna be that 3D looking, but just a little. I'm trying to kind of get give the illusion of that, the middle kind of vein part of the leaf. All right, so I've got my leaves. I'm gonna put my pan pastels back in their case. And the other thing that I use, which I have been using in almost all of my videos lately, um, one of my favorite dyes, which is our uh, bloom cluster die so I use this one right here our bloom cluster die looks like this and when you send it through your amaze machine 
or whatever die cutting machine you have, you get this beauty. Now I have been using it in almost every card I've made lately. I used it in, I used it in this card, if we notice, <laughs> right here. I also used it in this card do we see a pattern here i'm just loving it and then i'm gonna use it here now the only difference between what i'm doing now and what i did before is the fact that i'm gonna trim it so in this card i don't use the full deal i actually take it and i trim this little top part off and don't want him right now and i actually don't use this little guy and so I trim him right off as well. I just follow the stem. I just wanted the two this time around. And that's one of the reasons I love this die so much because you're not stuck with just one thing. It gives you so many options. I mean, technically I could trim this and then I have four separate stems I could use in various ways. I could trim some of these individual ones off if I wanted it less sparse. I could get a few more and kind of put them together to make it like a nice little clump. It's very, very versatile. I love it. I love this die. This is a staple die for me. Um, okay, so this is my other piece, basically, that I have to add to the card. So from here, I'm going to pop my flower up with a little pop dot, give it a little bit more extra dimension. Let me bring this one back over here to the center. All right. Yes, it's definitely one of my favorites for sure. You use it too, Kathy? Yes, I agree, guys. All right. Let's see here. Yes, Kathy says uh, simple. Yes, very, I, that's definitely my style, Kathy. I tend to do uh, simple, but I try to make it striking a little bit. I try to have a little bit of a, of a flair somewhere. All right, so I'm, if you see here, I'm adding just some of our craft glue. And this little leaf is coming over here. And do you want to hear a secret? <laughs> I shouldn't tell you all my secrets. But the main reason I designed the leaf to go this way was because of my original card. I totally did not cut this straight. So there's a little dip in there, and it was totally bothering me. So I put it so that it's, this is covering the dip. <laughs> Who else does that? you got to cover your imperfections. So this one then came up and over a little bit more maybe and flat. I do want to flatten it out a little bit because I don't want it to be completely 3D. It won't fit in an envelope otherwise. So you do have it to have, give it a little bit of that shape, but then kind of make it tap down just a little bit. Okay, and so we've got our flower and our nice big leaves. I went, again, just with a little bit of a different design there. And then the two black uh, little berry, berry stems that match our pattern paper perfectly. Isn't it a perfect match? Wah! I love it. Um, we'll go right in here. So basically this just sits right in, in the center between these two. Another awesome thing about our glue is that it allows for some shifting and movement that otherwise you wouldn't have if you used, um, you know, a glue dot or a tape runner or something like that. Spread that out just a little bit. And that is mostly my card. Now, the extra thing that I added to it, which I just I couldn't help myself, was some black bling. Okay, and this is just some bling I had in my uh, craft stash. I couldn't help myself. And so I grabbed the largest one. Don't ask me where I got this from. Honestly, I think I've had it for years, guys, for years. And then I maybe like touch um, on a few of these here and there. Depends on which part of the paper that you get or that the pattern paper that you cut the circle from. I just added, add, added a few just because I thought they were fun. And it just gives it a little extra um, just pop of dimension. A little bit more interest with the pop of the black. I don't have as many. I don't have as many of the little black ones on this pattern piece as I do the other ones. And that's it, guys. That's all I did. I mean, is this is kind of a quickie today, right? I told you I was gonna do that center flower, but I think I'm just gonna save it for another day. Um, that's the card. That's the card. <laughs> 
Yes, Kathy, I totally want to order this glue by the case. And actually, I think I, I usually buy them like five at a time, to be honest, just because I use them so much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch views here. Come back at ya. That's it, guys. I mean, nothing else to, uh, to add to it. Um, I kind of love it. It's kind of simple. It's got that fun contrast in color. Um, with the paper and the flower and that is sketch number 33 so I'd love it if you guys would try it this week definitely um, if you're not familiar with it go check it out it's just journey sketches on Facebook and you can use any product that you have it's FSJ focus but if you don't if you I mean you can use retired product um, if you're new to FSJ and don't have very much use what you have you totally can um, use what you've got so anyway thanks so much for watching everybody if you have any questions or comments, just put them there below and we'll try to answer them as best as you can. Hope everyone has a great night. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, all right? And we'll see you later. Bye, guys.